Tonight, the father of a teen girl who was attacked and punched at her high school on Long Island is speaking to Fox 5. All right, Jody Goldberg talked to him about his claims that the school did nothing to prevent the attack that left her with a concussion. There's no teachers here. Just go. A sneak attack posted to social media. Oh, damn. Damn. You can see a 14-year-old student throwing punches at her classmates' head and face in the hallway of Central Islip High School. I'm afraid to send my daughter back to school. Ezra Hoyt spoke on behalf of his daughter. The victim in the video identified by the initials KH for fear of retaliation. The male student directed a female to attack my daughter. The Hoyt family, with help from an attorney, filed a notice of claim against the the school saying their daughter, who suffered a concussion and hasn't been in school since the attack two weeks ago, was bullied and nothing was done to prevent it. When a parent turns its child over to a school, the school must take the same actions a parent would take to protect the, the student. According to the claim, the fight stemmed from a verbal threat in art class where the assistant principal allegedly separated the students. A friend was being bullied and uh, she told the friend not to. Uh, not to fight because uh, it's not worth it. So the next day, that's what he assaulted her because she played peacemaker. This incident is one of at least four recent attacks on Long Island students. On Monday, a 13-year-old was stabbed inside Lindenhurst Middle School. Two students were slashed at Uniondale High School that same day. And on Tuesday, a group of boys reportedly stabbed a teen walking home from school in Riverhead. I've never seen it this bad among kids. These attacks, according to Dr. Jeffrey Reynolds with Family and Children's Association, due in part to anxiety and angst post-COVID, but also violent videos going viral. The quickest way to become an influencer is to be involved in a fight. The district for their part says they're unable to comment pending litigation. However, officials do say the safety of students is a priority. And while they didn't go into detail, they're taking steps to establish a school free of violence. Now, as for the victim, her attorney plans to file suit seeking millions in damages. But more importantly, he hopes to send a message to schools that they need to protect their students. In Central Islip, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.